Hey, this is Ralph. And in our last videos, we were looking at historical stock returns to get a feel for how long you'd have to invest before the variability was um, in your area of acceptability, you know, with, within, its, uh, within your risk profile. Now we're going to start the second phase of this project where we want to kind of divide up some retirement funds into a bucket system. And for those who haven't heard that term before, you can just, you know, Google it and you're going to find lots of resources on it. But basically the bucket system for a retirement account means instead of having one retirement account that you draw from um, every month, every year, whatever, you're going to have three accounts. And one account is going to be pretty much just for cash and expenses for a year or two. The next account will have a slightly better return, but it might be for expenses covering uh, several years, maybe four or five years. And then you're gonna have the big account, which is gonna be in growth stocks, getting these 11% returns, hopefully. And you'll only be drawing from that one maybe every five or six years. So let's visualize what we're talking about. So. If you don't have a worksheet already where you did your historical returns, that's okay. We only use this to kind of educate ourselves and understand what's realistic. So you can very easily start from a blank sheet. So I've got Excel open here. Let me go ahead and zoom in. And what I'll do first is, well, let's go ahead and give ourselves a nice little label so we understand what we're working on here. I'm gonna do a little merge and center, and this is gonna be our bucket retirement Accounts. Perfect. So basically the way this concept is going to work, I'm just going to move down here for a moment. We can shift things around later on, but let's pretend we have a retirement fund, uh, a, a big account at retirement, and I'm going to put in the number 700,000. Great. Okay. Now, when we create our worksheets, we always want to create it so that you can easily customize it and modify it for your own for your own information. So um, you can put any number you like, put in the same number I'm putting in, and then we can always change them around later on. Let's go ahead and uh, style that in an accounting, and I don't need to see the, uh, the cents. Okay, so we have our retirement account, 700K. Now we're gonna have these three buckets. We're gonna have bucket one, which is basically gonna be cash, and it's there to cover two years of expenses. Then we're gonna have bucket two, which is gonna be a little bit more, uh, it's more conservative than a regular stock. So we'll call it uh, conservative. And that's gonna be three to five years of expenses. And then we're gonna have our third bucket, bucket number three, which is gonna be our growth funds. And that's gonna be for six plus years of expenses. And we're going to rely on these three funds. Now, in order to figure out what the balances in those funds should be, we do have to know what our expenses are likely to be. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and start up here and let's go ahead and put in an area where we can put in our annual cost of living. And this is going to be the annual amount of money you need, want to cover your regular expenses. And regular expenses can be fun money too. So it's not just your needs, but it's also your wants. It's not just your, your housing expenses and your food and your t utilities, but it's also um, your travel money and uh, your entertainment money and your dining out money and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and put in a number here of 60 grand. And in fact, I think I'll just go ahead and take this format painter. Let's just format all of that. Okay, so 60,000. Yours could be higher, it could be smaller. It's gonna be different for everybody. And you just wanna kinda of look at, you know, what are your expenses likely to be in that first year of retirement? Okay, so we've got our annual cost of living. Great. Uh, let's also keep track of an inflation rate. And I'm gonna put in 2% there. Now it's still formatted as an accounting, so let's go ahead and change that to a percent. Great, we're gonna keep track of that piece of information. Now, the other thing we're gonna do is, okay, 60,000 is our expenses. Do you have sources of income during retirement? Okay, well, let's see, maybe there is um, social security income. Maybe there is a pension income. Maybe you have some other income. So for instance, 
Social Security income, I'll just throw in numbers. I'm going to put in $12,000 a year for pension income. Um, I'm in a job where I have a pension. Some people are in jobs where they have a pension. Some people aren't. So if you're not in that job, you can leave that category out or you can plug zero in. I'm actually going to plug in $24,000 there. And then we've got this other income. Some people will still be drawing some other kind of income even in retirement. It could be, um, who knows, it could be uh, YouTube uh, revenue. It could be some part-time work that you're gonna continue to do, some other kind of passive income. And I'll put down 5,000. Now I wanna create a little bit more space in here. We can start to figure out what is our needed annual income. And that's gonna be equal to our annual cost of living minus all of these various income sources. So based on this starting data I've got here, I'm gonna need 19,000 a year, at least starting off, don't forget inflation, I'm gonna need 19,000 a year from my various retirement accounts, from my buckets. Now that we have this key information, we can easily start to figure out, okay, well bucket number one, that's gonna be my needed annual income. I'm gonna multiply that by two. And then for bucket two, I'm gonna take my, it's gonna be equal to my needed annual income. I'm gonna multiply that by five, okay? And then for bucket number three, that's gonna be equal to my retirement fund minus the amount allocated to bucket one, minus the amount allocated to bucket two, and there we go. So now we have some starting information so that we can create our bucket profiles, our account profiles for these three categories of accounts. So we've got our cost of living, inflation rate that'll come in later, any areas of other income we might have in retirement, and that leaves us our needed income from the accounts. And then of course, using our retirement fund, we can easily divide that up into the three bucket proportions. Thanks for hanging out with me and stick around for the next video.